Hey everyone, welcome back. I apologize for the delay in getting this video out. Every once in a while we will have to skip one of our weekly uploads, uh, but looking forward to the next couple of weeks, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, we should have content good to go for a little while now. We're also almost at 10k subs now, so thanks for the support from everyone out there. I uh, really appreciate it, and without any further delay, let's get into build day two. Last time we focused on the rear third of the octane, today we're going to be working on the front third. We'll start out the same way by welding some of the front sections on our jig plate. These square tubes make up the front subframe for the lower control arms to mount to. As you can see, they're pretty straightforward and they fit together real nice. As was the front bulkhead and the front roll hoop. Both of these consist of a single bent tube and a single square tube. Makes assembly real easy. Things start to get a lot more fun with the forward control arm brace, which is made up of four different tubes. This is a result of the way the body of the octane kind of slopes down towards the front. We wanted to give ourselves as much room for the pedal box and for the driver's legs as possible. So we have this sort of bent tube that makes up the upper member uh, that dead ends into the upper control arm bushings. And so that tube starts out obviously without those cutouts and we have to use our jig plate to sort of drill some reference holes and then cut it to fit. But once we played around with it for a bit, got everything to fit up how we wanted it to, we got that tacked together and then we could rearrange the garage and get ready to start assembling the front sections. This part's definitely the most fun for me. I love seeing the different sections actually start to come together when you start putting them on the jig tubes can also be the most worrisome as to whether it all fit up correctly. Once again, you can see our Lincoln Log sort of design at work needed to lightly touch up a couple of the slots with the file. But just a little bit of work and a little bit of the dead blow there got everything exactly where we needed it to be. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. I couldn't resist sitting in the car for the first time making some race car noises. But after that, it was time to move on and get the lower control arms fit checked. It took a minute to get the uh, left hand one in. The right hand side went in real easy and then we went ahead and tacked together that center section. Now we just had to connect the front bulkhead to that center section with some of the triangulated bracing. It took a minute to get everything oriented correctly, but once that was in, went ahead and welded that as well. Meanwhile, I began working on the aft upper control arm mount. Somehow I managed to drill the through hole for the bushing completely off center. And so we proceeded to spend the next uh, two or three hours gradually grinding and opening up the hole to try and get it to realign. Now what we had to do is bolt up the upper control arms and make sure that that hoop sit in the correct spot. We had a slight issue with it not being completely level, probably with the front not being completely square uh, but we went back and forth a couple times again making some minor adjustments until we could finally get it in the right spot here you can sort of see the aftermath of that mistake of drilling that hole off center we really had to shift it quite a bit and it left quite a bit of a uh, weld gap there not to worry we can still fill that with a mig welder so there's still gonna be plenty of material where it needs to be it just looks ugly at this point in time with that finally tacked in place, we can clean up the garage a little bit and lay the front and rear thirds together. The cockpit will have to wait until build day three, which will probably be in about two weeks from this video's release. 
In the meantime, Tillman's continued to work on putting full beads on the sections that we were able to finish between build day one and build day two. But I'm really excited with where this is going and I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like in a week or two. Thanks for joining us once again. I really appreciate you being here and uh, we'll see you in the next one.